The play is called Waswater. It's basically three vignettes that are loosely connected. They all uh, happen on the same day, at the same time. And they compose of uh, various different characters. The first is a uh, foster mother and her foster son. He is moving to Canada and they're saying their goodbyes in their very kind of awkward way. In the second scene we have a character called Mark and a, a girl called Lisa. And they are in a hotel room getting together to to have some kind of affair. Have you any idea how sexy I think you are? How sexy? Fucking very. Do you know what the sexiest thing somebody can do to another person is? No, don't answer that. I'm going to tell you. It's hold their gaze. It's keep eye contact. To not flinch. To not look away. How long do you think you could hold my gaze for? Hours. I bet you couldn't. It's so rare you get to play a female um, and be demonstrative with your sexuality in a, in a, in a way. You know, for most times in drama, we, we're, we're sort of objectified and, and passive. But this isn't like that. And, and for, that's quite fascinating. It's quite courageous. It's been, it's been <laughs> quite an experience. Um, but uh, really good fun and ultimately empowering. Simon Stevens is a very well-known, successful playwright. He most notably won an award for um, the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. He does characters with tremendous emotional depth and complexity. Yeah, are there characters like that in this play? Yeah, what we most like about Simon Stevens' writing is he writes about the human condition. And they are people expressing various difficulties in their life in, in, in some extreme or another. Scene three is probably the the darkest of the three scenes. It's about a teacher who has gone down an illegal route to adopt a child and he is facing the character Sean and she's there talking him through the adoption process and uh, basically keeping him in the room while the child arrives from the Philippines. It sounds as if it's quite dark. Is there any humour in it? There is humour, yes. Um, it is dark in places, um, but there's plenty of tenderness um, and hope for the future and, and a great deal of love and, there's some, and there is some humour. So you've got a very good cast for this. Um, so as we're sitting here in the audience thinking, I know that bloke from somewhere, can you just give us a quick rundown on who's in the cast and what we might know them from? So we have uh, an ex-gladiator called Mark Griffin, who was a Trojan. We have a uh, QVC Kipling handbag presenter called Mary Francoise Wolfe. We have Selena Giles, probably best known for V for Vendetta. Um, Philippa Peak. Um, who was most recently seen on Home Fires, uh, myself, um, who's probably best known for Relic Hunter, and various other members of the cast, and I can't remember all their credits, so I'm going to stop there.